What's up you guys? This is Rob from a Gay Guy Plays and today on Hashtag Confirmed we've got a bit of a junk drawer situation going on. I've gathered up a bunch of information from all ends of the Warframe spectrum from new Warframe UI um, to more info on the Tenocon digital passes and then of course talks about the new UI redesign. So without ado let's go ahead and just jump on in. So starting things off with the augments, this news actually came via one of the more recent prime times. We found out that both Mesa's Peacemaker would be getting an augment and so would Equinox's Mend and Mane. Now, Mesa's Peacemaker is not necessarily going to be something that we haven't seen before, mainly because of the fact that it's already available via the PvP selection. You'll actually be able to move at a reduced speed um, while in Peacemaker. Now, this is very, very similar to Nyx's Assimilate, and now all of those Mesas out there can live out their McCree dead eye dreams. This is definitely something that people have asked for, but not necessarily something that I am jumping to use. Usually when I've got Mesa going, I just run turn on Peacemaker, plant myself down for a couple seconds, you know, go on a shooting frenzy and then unclick. But for those of you guys who like to walk around in it, now it will be available to you. The next one is actually from Equinox. As you guys know, they were talking about doing uh, Mend and Maim uh, Augment for um, Equinox quite a while back, but upon testing it was a little too powerful. So they actually went and simplified things, and this is also something that you guys have um, heard of before and a lot of people have been asking for is basically this augment will allow Mesa to keep her mend and maim charges across transformations. So you can build up all of your charges while you are in night form and then unleash them in a big flurry of damage in your day form if that is what you like. So I think that's pretty cool. I'll probably be playing around with that one a little bit because I do think that I have some space and my overextended builds and you know it's a nice little bit if you need to pop in to heal you can heal if you need to pop in to do a bunch of damage. I'm kind of a big fan of it. I can't wait to see how it all plays out. Um, now when these will be available I have absolutely no clue. They just kind of chatted about it um, casually as they were showing it off on stream. However, cross your fingers, we'll be seeing it soon. Now, moving on to the Tenocon Digital Pack news, this is actually really, really awesome. I got a lot of questions on my most recent video about the Digital Pack stuff, um, and I figured I would go ahead and pass that through the DE staff to get your questions answered. Now, on April 3rd, this will actually be available across all platforms, at least that's what I was told, and the great thing about it is, and I believe this was different last year, that people weren't actually able to get um, their Cyandanas or anything through a digital pack. This is the first time they've offered it in the digital pack, and you will get it as soon as you purchase it. So if you get it on April 3rd, I believe what's gonna end up happening is you will get an email, you'll get a code in it that contains everything, including the platinum, including the armor set, the glyph, the sigil, all of that kind of stuff. I think the only thing that you might not see there is the relay key um, for when Barrow comes through, and that is of course because there's still 95 days till Tenocon happens, and that is when that relay will open. So you'll get everything except for the relay key. So it's cool because you can actually go ahead and put on your armor sets now and you can have access to that platinum now just in case you want to pick up the new Anaro skin um, that they're actually going ahead and kind of polishing up just a little bit. Um, news on the street is that should be happening today if not today which is Monday we'll most likely be seeing it this Wednesday and if that is the case I will make sure to go ahead and do kind of like a quick re-review video for you guys to see how I've worked with the looks um, that ended up coming out because it, it even even though um, it's supposed to not be like a massive change, it's still gonna affect the colors that you can use on it a lot. So I'm excited to see how that goes and I'm excited to see everybody in their Tenocon armor. Okay, so with those two out of the way, I really, really wanted to cover this, but I didn't really know how to cover it in depth but apparently DE has been tinkering around with new UI ideas. You know Steve has always got something simmering under the surface, and this is our first look at what a potential um, UI change could be, and I think it looks really, really classy and really, really gorgeous. As you guys know, one of my big things is I love things that are a little bit like luxurious, and this just seems so classy, but also so very Oroken. I'm like, ooh, I am so, so into it, and I love the fact that it has a little bit of a blossom down here 
as you guys can see underneath the text it almost looks like a little lotus petal that's coming up i'm like oh my god it is absolutely gorgeous but do keep in mind that these are work in project things so as you can see steve says ui team was excited and engaged to read all of the mock-up reactions positive and negative they made this in response to the common complaint i love this uh feels fresh i want it so this is something that we might actually be seeing in the game soon which i i cannot wait i am so so hyped up about we actually have more to look at um with that and as you can see here he's actually got it in um different ui stuff now one of the big things that they were saying is that uh, some of the art in the background isn't finalized. That's not really what it's going to be, but there are going to be customizations. So it's not only going to be fashion frame anymore, it's going to be fashion UI. Now, the only thing that I do have to say about this is right now, I think they're using, um, they're working with presets and we'll actually be taking a look at that in some of the videos. But as you can see right here, I think it really makes Warframe look fresh. I'm actually kind of feeling this, maybe not necessarily with the pink, um, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And they're working on optimizing it for both uh, PC and for controller. Uh, they did say that the controller would have like its own little built-in mouse. I don't know how controllers work. You guys know I'm actually a big epic fail on that and if you guys are curious i'm actually going to go ahead and link these tweets down in uh the uh description box below so you guys can kind of like peruse them at your own at your own advice but this is the really cool thing that i wanted to show you because this is the actual video let's go ahead and, and take a look at how this works but as you can see here this is the ship ui but you can choose a theme for it so these were the themes that i was actually talking about and I think that they look super ridiculously fantastic. Now, they did say customize, and I don't necessarily know exactly how much customization they're talking about. If, they're, if they've got these preset ones for us and we could just choose a preset, or if we'll be able to customize our own presets for them, which I think would be really, really exciting. I mean, it would be nice to be able to select exactly what I wanted um, in order to kind of make it right. Because picture this one, this goldy one, and maybe lighten it up, do a little bit of rose gold to it, and maybe add some like rosy kind of accents. I think that would be absolutely dope. But right now, it's looking really, really fresh and really, really interesting, and I can't wait um, for more more updates on this because i do want to see it in game i want to see this happening because it's beautiful it's absolutely absolutely beautiful now the other thing that i did want to point out is they actually had some mock-ups from their previous variation and i'm going to be honest with you I, I want your opinions in the comments below let me know do you like this better or do you like the one with the kind of like tube better because this i think looks dope it almost kind of looks like some sort of clock and it kind of reminds me of continuity but you know what this is one of their mock-ups and they did say um that this is you know not gonna be the actual login screen this is just gonna be another draft and they did say that there would be moving background elements um yeah so i think that it's really really cool i think that this looks even better me personally like i don't know i like the tube thing but you know i think that this like spinning and rotating maybe it just reminds me of the Ephesium sign Donna and that's why I like it um but let's go ahead and take a look at the last one and this one was a really really interesting this is an old UI mock-up so I don't think that this is actually something that they're planning on using they said it's an old UI mock-up um but as you can see right here I actually think this looks really good is it just me I'm really, if they bring something similar to this in game, I would not be unhappy. I would not be unhappy in any way, shape, or form. Um, because of the fact that, look, you get your Warframe in the background and you get them all posing, and then you get some really nice, like, transparency. But regardless, I think it looks dope as hell. I would love to see, and the thing about it is, it's not like there's anything wrong with our UI. They don't need to go and work in our UI if they don't want it, but... If you had this in Warframe, this would really definitely freshen some things up. At least just in my opinion. And I definitely know that on stream, or even here on the channel, whenever I kind of like change up the UIs just a little bit, it definitely makes it feel like fresh and new and exciting. Look, even the Naramon, even the Naramon symbol looks a little bit different. I'm kind of like, okay, this is really, really cool. 
Um, regardless, that about does it for this episode. I'm gonna see if there's there's other little tidbits that are floating around right now too um, that I figured I would end up sharing with you at some point maybe later this week, but you know, we're gonna wait for all of that NDAs and everything. Regardless, um, let me know how you guys feel about um, a new UI coming up. Uh, the augments that are coming through, are you gonna end up using them? Are you? Okay, let me know if you're that I want Mesa to be walking during Peacemaker thing because I just, just it's just not a me thing could be a you thing because i know people have asked for it, it but i'm not gonna waste a slot on that at least personally but you know there are options for everybody out there and also are you guys excited because i okay so this was the thing i guess they're going through a different um company to do their like ticket sales or whatnot i think they're, they're doing it themselves maybe i don't know what de is doing but i do know that they said um that you'll be able to get them straight out the gate and i know that last year for the cyan donnas and all that kind of stuff you actually had to go in get your um little pass and then your pass would have all of the codes on it but now i think the code is going to just be emailed to you because we got ours emailed to us so i'm assuming that it's probably going to be very very similar or might just be added directly into your account who freaking knows Regardless, um, let me know if you are excited to rock your Tenocon armor because it is coming up like 90 days away. I've been hitting the gym for the past few days. I'm, I'm back at it. <laughs> Regardless, that about does it for me. Like for now, leave all everything in the comments below. I'm so excited that like my mouth is salivating uncontrollably and I can't even get through the outro. Um, so as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your shiny new UI. Possibly. We'll see. Regardless, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye!